Justin, what is the quadratic formula? Well, the quadratic formula is any function that can be written in ax squared plus bx plus c equals y. Oh, okay, that makes sense. So that means it can be written in the form y equals 1x squared plus 0x plus 0? Yes, but remember, the a cannot equal 0. And A, B, and C have to be real numbers. Okay, that makes sense. So, Hayden, is this a quadratic formula? Uh, yeah, yeah, I think so. Good job. Okay. Thanks, dude. I understand how to do that, but what if it's in a chart? If it's in a chart, all you have to do is look at the x and y values. The x values will have a constant change, and the y values will have a second difference. What would that look like? Well, as you see on this chart right here, the x value, negative 2, negative 1, is plus 1, and then negative 1 and 0 is plus 1, and then 0 and 1 is plus 1, and 1 and 2 is plus 1. So these all have a constant change of 1. Now on the y values, it's a little different. The difference between 8 and 2 is minus 6. The difference between 2 and 0 is minus 2. And 0 and 2, plus 2. And 2 and 8 is plus 6. And this would be the first difference. Now we're going to find the second difference. So, the difference between negative 6 and 2 is plus 4. 2 and 2, negative 2 and 2 is plus 4, and 2 and 6 is plus 4. So your second difference would be 4. Okay, that makes sense now. Good job. Yeah. Get everything about this lesson except for the graphing part. Okay, so if A is greater than A, the parabola opens upward like this. So you need a graph. So it'll open like this. The vertex will be the lowest point. But if A is less than zero, like a fraction, the parabola opens downward and the y value is the greatest point. I still don't get it. So if the equation y equals x plus minus 4x plus 5, since A is greater than zero, the parabola would face upward and the vertex is at 2 and 1, and the minimum is 1. Okay, but what about the domain? The domain will always be all real numbers unless given a specific domain, or if it's a word. Okay, that's easy enough, but what about the range? The range is the y value's highest or lowest point. So, like here and here. It depends on which direction the problem is facing from the problems we just did. The range or y would be greater than or equal to 1. The domain would be all real numbers. Oh, I get it now. Thanks. Yeah.